The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Coconut or something. Something to get it right. Yeah. But you know, we'll use anything. You know. Masters of manipulation. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Head Crack After Hours. This is a man who literally has the world in his palm. And he's, and he's about to come for your kids, too, man. Big things popping with this brother right here. What's up for DeVito? Hello, what's up, man? Yo, peace, man. Welcome to the, you know, After Hours, man. Thank you. Congratulations straight out the gate on you, just man. everything you got going on. It's like, where do you, where do you begin? Yeah, man. I mean, if you just thank, thank God, you know what I'm saying, we've been pushing, pushing the movement for years. And, you know, for it to finally get accepted, it's just, it's a great feeling. The whole Africa... Is happy, you know what I'm saying? So we just had to just give good vibes, really. Word. Now let's go back good to the vibe. beginning of the story, though. Um, for those that don't know, you were born in Atlanta. Born in Atlanta, North Side Hospital. And then moved to Nigeria. Yeah, right after. Like right after you were born? I don't think I, right after, like probably like a month. Right after. So yeah. did your did your mom give birth while she... Well, obviously, because you were born here, but, like, were your parents from here at the time? Or were they no, living no, here at the time? Like, my mom went, actually went did her master's here. She went to school here. But a lot of times in Africa, you see happening when um, parents bring their kids to America, you know, to get the... To, to, to give birth. So, you know, so I've never had to worry about no visa and... Okay. You know, all of that. So, like, been an easy pass for me. So you down by law from, from the get-go? Yeah. Go so, being in the space that you're in right now, man. Like, uh, you know, you got all those joints that people love. Yeah. Not only in the clubs, but the kids are vibing to it too. And now there's a name for what you do. I've seen yeah. it referred to as Afro Pop. Yeah. In a lot of different, um, you know, like different media outlets. How would you describe your sound for somebody who's like new to it? I mean, it? people say Afro Pop. People say Afro Beats. People say Afro this. But I call my music Afro Fusion, fusion of everything. But the Afro is for African. So I always. Make sure that element is always in my music, the African part of my music. Because funny enough, when I first got the deal, when I first got signed, mm -hmm. I was trying to make music that I thought would appeal to Americans. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think that Americans would ever accept full-blown African music and be like, yo, I like this. I want to buy this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for me to try to do like American music and it not working out, and for me to be like, you know what? I'm going home. And making the music I know how to make, which is African Afrobeat music, and for that music to be the music to be accepted, is amazing and crazy to me. I mean, there's nothing more organic than being yeah. yourself and doing you, right? Because it's going definitely feel like it's coming from more of a better place. Yeah. So, you know, when you first started, like, were there situations where like you maybe had those first couple shows in your career that didn't go well because it's like your first time? On yeah, stage. like when I first started, like six years, seven years ago. Everybody has that. You know what I'm saying? We even started in Nigeria, but I've been so blessed, to be honest. I've been so blessed that s s um, s things happen quick. You know what I'm saying? So I probably had like one or two or three shows like that. But then after that, it was just blessings. Man, like you you hit the wall early and then like just climbed over and kept running. Yeah, Six yeah. or seven. Like, is that common for people in Nigeria? Do most people who aspire to do music, do they start that early? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not really, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like I see a lot of people that you you be on the ground for years and years and years and it finally happens, you know what I'm saying? I just be like, whoa, like, I can imagine if that happened to me. I can imagine if I had to wait that long, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'd be able to wait that long. So I've been a guy that, I wouldn't say I like to rush things, but things never really wait for me. I make sure everything gets done, bop, 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 bop. See now, my my music is on the radio. It's mainstream. I'm not gonna let that waste. I'm about to, yeah. I'm about to capitalize it. Go now, ahead. is it easy to get your music on the radio in Nigeria or America? What? In Nigeria, of course, it's easier. But in America, it's like, you know, what I'm saying. Funny enough, African music music has always been played in the clubs by people in their cars. Mm -hmm. But radio, it's never been crazy. Like, okay, always on radio. It's probably like. A DJ play, played it in, in the mix real quick. Talk about back home. Yeah, but talk oh, about here. Oh, here. Yeah. Well, for it to be, There's way more politics yeah. in the radio game yeah, here. For, but for, for it to be playlisted, an African song playlisted, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it gives me confidence that at least that's a gateway for the rest of the music to come through. Because I'm like 
10 records after this record. Oh, so y'all late. Yeah, so they finally catching up. Yeah, y'all late. I'm like 10 records after this record. So, got you. Crazy. Like, where were you the first time you heard your stuff get played on the radio? And what was your reaction? Um, my partner said it to me, you know, so he said it on the snap. But when I when I got to New York, it was actually the first time when I got in the car from the airport. Boom. Heard it. Man. And, and the dope thing about it, like, especially we talk about New York, man, like, you know, like, we embrace every, because everybody's there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even when you look at, like, Nigeria as a whole and how many Nigerians are all across the yeah, United the States. Because yeah. I've been to parties and I've heard your records, but I just didn't know, you know. Yeah. You know, sometimes they seamlessly blend things from one artist to another. You never know who you listen to. You just you just dig it. Yeah. And when there was certain records I found out there was, you was like, oh, that was the, the, the Vito Joy. I'm in. Man, so... Like rhythms, yeah. There are tons of them. Of course, many of us, many are similar. Do you have a particular rhythm you like rocking over? Not really. You know, just uh, just different rhythms. Like uh, in 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 back home, in like you see, like in Jamaica, mm -hmm. they have like a rhythm. They have one rhythm. They have like fifty artists do one rhythm. Right. Back home, it's not even like that. Okay. It's like everything's different. You know what I'm saying? So we just. Always creates new content, new content, new content, 24-7. Now, is reggae in Nigeria and dancehall treated separately from what y'all do? I mean, because it seems like a lot of them have a, like a similar intent. It's similar, similar it's, it's similar, especially in Ghana. Ghana and the Gambia, they are very big on like dancehall and reggae music. But Nigeria, not so much. But there is a reggae dancehall community. And we do, do the, we do have artists that... You know, do that type of music like Pato Rankin, Boy. They do that type of Afro, I call it Afro dancehall, mm -hmm. African and dancehall mixed together. But one thing about African music is that no matter what it is, you always hear an element of African inside the music. Whether it's trap, whether it's pop, whether it's this, if it's Afro, you always hear an element of and that's so dope because y'all never lose yourself within the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When y'all keeping it true. You gotta be original. And yo, and you know the women love you, right? I, I mean, I know you feel that vibe, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I mentioned you was coming. She's from Ghana. Uh, she's our producer for Dish Nation. She, you speak she did a little wine say, in the hallway and sang a song. Like when I said you was coming, she got excited. Like, ha have you accepted your 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 mass appealness yet? Or is this still like fairly new to you? I mean, in America, it's kind of like new, but it's just like, it's just been that way like for a minute. But... Like in the in the Western commercial world, it's kind of new, but you know what I'm saying. I've, I got two older sisters. I've been around women like all my life. So mm -hmm. It's like it's it, cool. I got it's, two daughters. Oh really? Yeah. How old's the oldest? Oh uh, three. Okay. About to be four. Is it tough like having kids that young and yeah. start now that you really even bubbling harder? You know, because like you don't want to be away from your kids, of right? Of course. Like I, I have a, I have a daughter in Nigeria. I I, I got a daughter here. Even just being with my daughter yesterday, just just having to leave to the studio, it's like, damn. Like, I'm trying to be here with you, like, right. 24-7, but it's like, gotta go. You, know? you ever bring around for the tag along? I mean, I will, I'll probably, I'm taking him, I got a show in Orlando, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take him to uh, Disney World. Oh, that's the day. perfect one, two punch. You ain't gonna remember much, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> At the end of the day, like, you know, you did that, that's for the archives. Yeah. So, you got two records that are killing it right now on the charts, man. Yeah. Falling, and that's like a slow cooker. Like yeah. I mean, I guess equivalent to what you said earlier. Like yo, I got ten more records ready in the stash, yeah. ready for you. I mean, you dropped that like what 2017, 2016? Yeah, yeah, twenty seventeen, late twenty seventeen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, I mean, it's it's shocking to me. Like I say, I tell everybody, I was at home, minding my business in Nigeria, doing my thing, and then all of a sudden, I just start getting calls like, yo, I know they're they playing music like. Two times today on the radio. I was like, oh, for real? And it's, it's more than it gets to New York, Atlanta, they're here, they're here, they're in North Carolina. Right? So it's just like, I was shocked too. I was like, why that record? Right. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like that's just the record. It, like, it makes them feel good. And I don't know. It in was, your head, what, what did you think the record was going to be? I knew it was going to be big for my standard. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know it was going to chart. I didn't know it was going to do all this. Got you. So, like, with a record like that that's blowing, is it time to start buying ridiculous things yet? Or have we already been doing that? No, I don't really buy ridiculous things. Keeping it kind of, like, 
Do you, do you still live in Nigeria, correct? Yeah, I still live in Nigeria. Is it hard for you to move around? Because, you know, you hear certain things about, like, certain places, especially, yeah. like, when it's, like, smaller countries. Like, you know, Jamaican artists, some people live in a harder city, everything's cool. Then you got some people get extorted because they're so easily accessible. Yeah. And, you know, looking at the political things that you're involved with, yeah, yeah, you're definitely yeah. a man of the people. So, um, like, Yeah, with me, it's just like, like I said, like, I'm the man of the people. When, and when I'm really the man of the people, I'm also... The the, the 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 child of Nigeria because all those things I do is because I know I have the voice to do so. I know that a lot of people want to say some things but they can't reach. You know, I know I have people in America listen to me, people in London listen to me, but you know, I know one day like a change will come and I'm just happy that if I look back on it, I can be one of the ones to say I was part of the people that spoke out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll be selfish of me to gave this global success because of my fans in Nigeria. I want me to leave them. I don't say nothing about the, 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 the things that are going on and go to the world and take over the world and have fun and make money. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I like to balance the two. I let my people know that, look, I might be conquering the world, but I'm, I, I, I'm seeing what's going on. I'm not forgetting. Home is home. You know what I'm saying? Home is always going to be home. Right. Like, I don't see myself ever living somewhere else. Anyway, I, I could be in America for six months, seven months, and they ask me, where do I live? I'll always say, Nigeria. Now, if you had to plant your flag permanently in any place in the United States and make it home, where would you live? Atlanta. Definitely. What is it about Atlanta? Does Atlanta remind you of home in any way? I, yes, that's home. Atlanta is home. My whole family is from Atlanta. Atlanta. No matter, we have houses here. My mom went to school here. My dad's been... In and out of Atlanta for over thirty something years, you know what I'm saying? So, Atlanta is like, if it's not Lagos, it's ATL. Word. Now, you know both your parents in Nigeria now as well. Or yes, no? yes. My mom passed, but my dad's in Nigeria. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, but both of them was full ATL flying. <laughs> you know, my dad had twenty something years over the Rolls Royce in Atlanta. Like, my family been in Atlanta. Word. So, like, paint the picture for me, right? So, for people who have never been to Nigeria, because, you know, I think, you know, mass media has done a great job of, like, making Africa seem way less cool than it is. And for they, those they, that know, they, it's They did a bad job. Yeah, like, they, like, it, uh, Africa popping. What? I'm, and I'm just really happy and excited that artists are actually coming to Nigeria to see. Because when they come and they, when they're leaving, they feel bad. Because mm -hmm. they're like, wow, like, we've been... We've been taught to see Africa as huts, as animals everywhere. When you get to Africa, you look at a place, you, you got 500 something private jets in the airport. You got skyscrapers. You got any car that comes out in the world, I promise you, before it gets to America. To be That's Nigeria. First. To be Nigeria. Now, if you can import something. Facts. If you can import something from Nigeria and bring it to America. What would you do? What would you bring? Huh. I don't know. It, something it, it something we need to have. It probably food. Or some, some type of some food. <laughs> What's know. the go-to? Because we got Nigerian restaurants over here, but, but like... No, of course, uh, amazing restaurants, but it's nothing like the food made from the sauce in Nigeria. Yeah. Trust me. Y'all soil even different. Real talk. People don't really like see the you know the value in that, but like the yo, soil, the, the soil the, different. Plantain. Hey, what? Like my favorite Nigerian dish is, is called Eba and Okra. Use your hands to eat it. Now Eba, how we spelling that? E B E B A. E B A and Okra? Okra. Eba. Okay. We do the okra. I'm about to yeah. look up the Eba. Eba Pulling it up right okra, now. Real nice. Okay, okay, that's like a little, like, uh, you put that in a bowl or a plate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, with your ass, eat it, crazy. Cool, I'm trying to get my culture on. <laughs> so in addition to the Fallen record, which is doing phenomenal, yes. you also got a monstrous record out right now with Casanova <laughs> yes, sir. and Tory Lanez, man. I, two dudes that I, like, I'm, like, huge fans of. So Yo. you're the extra Yo, icing Cass on the cake. Yeah, man, I met Casanova in New York, Summer Jam, when I performed with A Boogie. Cool dude. You know, he just brought some cool vibes, and um, he was in the studio with Tori. He had called me. He was like, "Yo, I got this record," and everybody just say, "Yo, you gotta put that little African thing on it." <laughs> so now I had cool man called me, so he sent me the record. 
And I sent him back like an hour. We did the record. He's like, yo, he called me. He's like, yo, you want to shoot the video? I was like, you know what? Well, come, let's shoot this video in Nigeria. He called me two days before he came to Nigeria. Like, yo, I got my visa. I'm coming. I'm like, nah, I didn't believe it. Yo, he called me on the plane. Yo, I'm on a flight. I was like, yo. So he came to Nigeria and he stayed for like three, four days. The day he was meant to come back to America, he changed his flight. And hung out longer. <laughs> yeah. Because the vibes were just pure. Is he still there Little now? baby came out there too. Oh, word? Yeah, he stayed in my house. You know what I'm saying? Little baby came out there, he stayed in my house. That's love. You know, he he was he was one of the people who was like, yo, man, damn, like, they really made us think this place is not popping. He was, he, was, he was talking to me about buying property and stuff like that, investments. You know what I'm saying? It's a place I feel like everybody used to visit. He used to go back and see, like, yo, this is really not what it is. And I, I promise you, you come back with a different mindset. You know, you come back feeling like, apart from America, they've made y'all feel like this is the only home that you guys have, which is not true. Y'all have another home, which is Africa, which is where everybody is originally from. Yeah, now you know the media has been great at manipulating that. Yeah, so, so, so when you go back and you come here, you come back like, yo, you look at everybody like, yo, I ain't got to be here. There's another place for us. So it's something I feel like everybody needs to go and see. Okay, well, from a, you know, from an immigration standpoint, right? Yeah. You know how like sometimes people come from overseas, they get treated a certain way of course, over there. Of course. How does it work in reverse with Americans being in Nigeria? To be honest, the, the, the way the way y'all been um brought up to think like you're Africa, blah blah blah, slavery, this that, it's it's the same for us, but they didn't really tell us like, oh, these people came and took everything type stuff mm. but we know that well it's more if when you go to africa they're more of you know what come home it's okay yeah you know what so I'm i mean so because because our um our, not to say speculation yeah. but because like the image that we have of africa yes. is what it is like is the african image of americans like oh you guys used to be slaves like what's what's the popular <laughs> that's, misconception that's about what america? i'm saying that's okay. what i'm saying like we were told that, but mm -hmm. it's not. It's still in our brain. Like it's not like oh, but it's like we're told that. But to us, y'all coming to back home, it's like welcome back home. Got you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's not the same. Like we 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 know about all of that, but we're not thinking about that. And funny enough, even when you have like even white people, Caucasians go to Nigeria, they are welcome with open arms. Do you understand? A lot of, what? A lot of um, a lot of uh, foreigners live in Nigeria. Living a lot. Yo. Do you understand? So I definitely want to check it out. You the have two, to, you the have two AM to. video didn't necessarily. It wasn't the best postcard for you know Nigeria because like. Is that a hyena? My man had hyenas. With, who's doing that? Is that yes. normal? I mean, you got hyenas in America. I don't see them. In the zoo, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, we 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 all got hyenas like walking around. Right, right. But I think that. That uh, hyena was brought from like a zoo. Or something. Got you. Now nah, that club scene alone, would make, you know, I, 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 I want to go where y'all was at. Yeah, <laughs> Show me that spot. Put that on my GPS, gotcha. man. Gotcha. So the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. Yeah, they have a whole African section. Yeah, you it's are, not. It's you not, for the, I'm, I'm not for the African section though. Huh? I'm for the global section. Global, but you you are nominated, yeah. and you're not the only African artist to be nominated. Which once again is another testament to where you guys kick down doors, man, and like really, you know. Really let y'all, you know, let the world know that y'all got something to say. Of course. Like, even, like, not even with the music, like, with the movies, with the food, with the culture, the fashion. Mm -hmm. Like, everything is coming together at once. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see, like, like, right now you have, like, a Ghanaian as the head of Louis Vuitton right now. Virgil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a, a, a Nigerian a UFC champion, champion right now. Which one? The, the, the dude that won two days ago. Not John Jones? The guy that won the, fought on the, the fight before John Jones? Uh, Camaro, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, my fire stick was acting funny. It didn't kick in until the John Jones yeah, thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, everything's coming together, man. Like, I, you have a Genevieve, you know, premiere a movie on Netflix. So, it's just like, it's not only music. It's just like everything else. was the whole Yo, culture. coming together, man. Like, it wasn't popular to be African before, but it's like... You have people that are not African wanted to be African right now. So that's crazy, you know? And I see it, I see it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm just happy, like, I could be one of the people that was like, yo, I, f I fall for this. From here, where do we go? Like, what's next? 
man, festivals, festivals, festivals. We got a lot of festivals. Planet or tour. Um, I'm right. I'm in the studio right now. When I'm when I'm doing this, I'm going. I'm going back in the studio. I'm in the studio right now, working on my second album. Uh, putting out a project. Um, I've been working with a lot of people, so I'm, I'm trying to do a. I wouldn't say a coming to America album, but it's like I'm trying to fuse both worlds gotcha. and show that it's possible to really collaborate. I'm about to do everything: fashion, movies from the film, everything in that album. I'm about to, the you wear right now? You design that? No, nah, it's a Mary. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I gotta Google that. <laughs> a Mary. It's up there but, next to the Eba. But I'm saying, but I'm, I'm about to show everybody like, yo, it's possible for these two different kind of worlds to come together and collaborate. So we're working, we're working on, on that project. Probably put that out in like the summer. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Well, yo, man, you always got a place and a platform to come kick the Willie Bobos, man. Tell people what you're doing, man. Always. People aren't following you, man. You know, if girls want to get a look at the drip, where did it go, G? Yeah, you know, man, Instagram, David O Official, Twitter, I am underscore David O. YouTube, David O Vivo, going crazy. Way more music on there. Make sure you go check that out. We going crazy. Yo. This man right here is making it possible for you to grind really closely to women in the club. Yeah. He's, make, he's making your nights go right. He got <laughs> big tunes, and he's showing you Africa big, and he just put me on to some new food in the fashion designer. I'm a good bow. Bow. <laughs> make some noise one time for DeVito. Thank you. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. <laughs>